Hello, welcome to my channel Math with Nazia. In this video, we are going to learn factorizing quadratic trinomial. This is also called as a split method. So, I have already taught few examples for factorizing a quadratic trinomial. In my previous video, you can refer that. The link is given below in the description. Or you can simply click on the i button which is given on the top. Now let's see the first example of today which is x square plus 3 root 3x minus 30. So this is our first example for today. Now when you see this question you feel that it is little tricky. Because there is a root 3 in between and how are we going to split root 3? So it is same as the previous ones which we have already done. When we add or subtract two numbers, we have to get 3 root 3 that is positive 3 root 3. And we, when we multiply two numbers, we need to get negative 30. It is the same way as we did the previous one. We need to get 3 root 3. So, whenever we have a root 3, we have to add two numbers with the same root 3. For example, in algebra, we add only 2x plus 3x, same variable and maybe make it as 5x. Right? It is the same way we need to have a root 3 in both the numbers. So, I just simply put a root 3 in both. So, this will make your task easy. So, we need a root 3 in both. So, root 3 times root 3 is 3. So, we already have 3 in this. In the in minus 30, we already have 3 because root 3 times root 3 is 3. Now, we need 3 here. So, which two numbers we add or subtract, we get 3. We can take it as 2 and 5. 5 minus 2 is 3. Because 3 is a positive number, I will put a positive for a bigger number and I will put a negative for a smaller number. Now let's see whether it works for multiplication. See 2 times 5. So when we multiply 2 root 3, negative 2 root 3 times 5 root 3. When we are going to multiply this, we will split the numbers as negative 2 times 5 times root 3 times root 3. So here we would get 2 times 5 is 10. Root 3 times root 3 is 3. So we have a negative 10 times 3 which is negative 30. We have got a negative 30 here. And when we subtract these two, 5 root 3 minus 2 root 3, we get it as plus 2 root 3. Now, is it easy to factorize two numbers with the root 3? Now, let's start writing the solution for this question. So, here we have x square. We have taken minus 2 root 3 and 5 root 3. So, I will write it as minus 2 root 3x because there is an x here plus 5 uh, root 3x minus 30. I hope you all got till this. This is a rough work. You can see how to do this. And now let's take common in these two. So what is common here? x is common here. So I'll write it as x minus 2 root 3 because only x has come out. Now when you see this number 5 root 3x minus 30. When you have such number, I will take 5 root 3 outside. So, there would be an x and how to solve this. So, 5 has come out. So, we have a 6. But there is a root 3 also come out. So, I have to put a root 3. Let me put a minus sign. I have to put a root 3. Root 3 times root 3 is 3. 3 times 5 is 15. So, 15 has come out. So, what should I put here? 2 because 15 times 2 is 30. Now, as you could see, the numbers which is inside the brackets are same. They are always same. I have already explained about this in my previous video. So, now since x minus 2 root 3 and x minus 2 root 3 are common, I will take x minus 2 root 3 outside. And the remaining is x plus 5 root 3. Isn't it easy? So we are just going to split. This is the tricky part where we split the root 3. Otherwise, if the, all the methods are 
same you can use the same verification process as i've taught you in my previous video you can refer that the link is in the description or you can just simply hit the i button above so if you found this method easy and my explanation easy hit on the subscribe button and click on the bell icon so that you get a regular updates on my video now let's see the second question for today which is i'm going to take the similar question so that we have a repeated explanation so that it is easy for you to understand now let's take another example which is x square minus root 3x minus 6 this is also somewhat similar here we don't have a number so when we add or subtract we need negative root 3 that is understood as 1 root 3 and when we multiply we need negative 6 now how are we going to split as i taught you since there is a root 3 i will write root 3 both the sides so now we have root 3 now we have we need 1 here and when we multiply we need 6 so which number can we write but we have already we already have a 3 here root 3 times root 3 is 3 so we can take it as 2 and 1 so 2 times 1 is 2 root 3 times root 3 is 3 so 6 and now when we subtract these two we get root 3 now the numbers are done let's see where to put a negative sign since there is a negative in the bigger number since there is a negative in negative root 3 I'll put a negative here because when we add or subtract, we need a negative answer. So I'll put a negative here and the same thing as for the multiplication. So if you didn't understand the multiplication, you can write it as negative 2 root 3 times 1 root 3. So now let's multiply negative 2 times 1 times root 3 times root 3 as we did last time. Root 3 times root 3 is 3. 2 times 1 is negative 2. So we get our answer as negative 6. So that's the reason we split it like this. Is it easy? We have got two factors which is negative 2 root 3 and plus 1 root 3. Now let's solve this. So x square minus 2 root 3 x plus 1 root 3 x minus 6. Now as usual now other steps are same only this part differs a little otherwise the remaining steps are same now let's take common as x so we have x minus 2 root 3 and here i will take since it's a 1 we need not write here i will directly take a root 3 outside so i'll get an x since i have taken a root 3 i will write a root 3 first then 2 times uh, sorry root 3 times root 3 is 3 3 times what will give us 6 3 times 2 right so I will write a negative 2 here because already there is a negative sign now as you could see x minus 2 root 3 and x minus 2 root 3 this have to be same if it is not same you feel that your answer is going wrong somewhere so now since this is same I will take this outside x minus 2 root 3 and x plus root 3 isn't it easy we just followed the same method but this part was a little different if you practice few questions like this you will get it so if you found this easy please click on the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to get the regular updates of my video now we are going to see the third example for today which is x square minus 3 root 5 x minus 20 so this is also almost similar to the first and the second question now i hope you all remember the steps when we add or subtract we need 3 root 5 and when we multiply we need negative 20 so after writing this what is the first step whenever we have root I think you all remember we will write root 5 at both the sides. Very good. So now we have 5 times 5 is 5. We already have 5. So when we remove 5 from here, when we divide 5 from this, we need only now 4. 
So since we need 4, either we can write 2 times 2 or 4 times 1. So if I write 2 and 2 here, 2 times 2, when I add or subtract, I don't get 3. So let me write a 4 here in 1 and I will write a 1 here. So now 4 minus, three, 4 minus 1 will give me 3. So since it is a negative 3, I'll put negative for the bigger number. It's very easy whenever we have a negative in the addition part, we would put a negative for the bigger number and positive for the smaller number. Now when you, this addition is done, when we subtracted these two, we got 3 root 5. Now let's see for multiplication. It's the same, 4 times 1 is 4, root 5 times root 5 is 5. So 4 times 5 will become 20. Easy, I've already explained this in my previous question. So now we have got the roots which are minus 4 root 5 and plus 1 root 5. Now let's factorize this. We have x square and in place of negative 3 root 5, I will write it as 4 root 5 x plus 1 is not required to write. I'll just write root 5 x minus 20. Easy. Now I'm just going to take x outside as common. So it will be x minus 4 root 5. And as you could see here, I will take root 5 outside. So that I get x here minus, since I have a root 5 outside, I'll put a root 5 here, which will be easy for us to calculate. Root 5 times root 5 is 5. 5 times what will give us 20? 4. Easy. We have got the same numbers inside the brackets. So now these two are common. So let me take it as common. x minus 4 root 5 is common. And the remaining numbers are x plus root 5. Is it easy? If you found this video interesting and easy to understand, please click on the subscribe button and click on the bell icon so that you get a regular updates of my video. And if you like the video, click on the like button and share it with your friends. And thank you for watching.